The state pharmacies and patent drug stores are facing a tough time for failure to comply with safety and professional regulations. Now, 66 pharmacies and more than 300 patent drug stores have been shut in the state. Senior correspondent Uchi Okoro has more in this report. The enforcement team of the Pharmacy Council of Nigeria was in Port Harcourt, Obiako and the Kweri local government areas to assess the level of compliance to regulations guiding the profession. Patent medicine vendors are required to stock only items that have a wide margin of safety and so 315 stores were sealed for unauthorized sale of these prescription products. 66 pharmacies were also sealed for operating without the supervision of a certified pharmacist and other offenses. The team visited more than 500 business premises, but in what can best be described as a serious threat to public safety in River State, more than 50% of that number fell short of expectations. A total of nine compliance directives were issued. Most of the premises were sealed for offenses, which include operating without registration or renewal of premises certificates, unauthorized sale of medicines of abuse, poor access control to the poison cupboards, poor storage facilities, stocking and sale of prescription and other ethical products by patent medicine vendors, among others. Due to the proliferation of pharmacies and patent medicine stores in Nigeria, it requires a massive deployment of men and equipment to consistently police the drug distribution chain. And so the council is advising the public to take responsibility by patronizing only stores that show proof of up-to-date registration and qualified staff. We have told them, we have had meetings with them that make sure you display evidence of registration. It will help the public to know where to go. And I think that for now, that's the only way somebody going to buy a drug we know. And that's how it has always been. It's even an offense for any pharmacy shop or a patent medicine shop to not to display the uh, premises certificate. It's, a, it's an offense and there's a fine for it. For yeah, no, I don't know. So you, it is a duty, the, the right of members of the public to ask about the status of any premises. It's your right. The PSN says most of these stores will be allowed to reopen for business after they fulfill their regulatory obligations, but also warned that it is a criminal offense to break the seal before doing so. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Hackett.